Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on Monique. You know, Monique, just like uh, Cat Williams, went over there to Club Shay Shay, did an interview, and you know, she got the people in the uproar. She had many stories that she told. And when I say stories, I just mean, you know, stories about things that happened to her throughout her time in the entertainment industry. So she also told a story about when she was on the set of Almost Christmas, where the head honcho in charge was Will Packer. And she told him, listen, the trail is smelling like they're a little smoky, like something's going on. You may need to check it out. He ignored her. And the next thing you know, she said the trail is blew up and was on fire. Listen, the people are not playing in 2024. I think this is a year of exposure. We're going to expose you and let the people know uh, everything about you. Now, I'm going to show you real quick. I can only show you 30 seconds because y'all know how this thing goes. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to show you 30 seconds of this clip where uh, Monique is talking about Will Packard, and he um, was the producer of Almost Christmas. Let's hear talk to Club Shay Shay for 30 seconds. When Will Packer comes into that trailer for us to talk, do you know what that man says to me and my hairstylist and my makeup artist and my assistant? I am the head in charge. Everything stops with me. I said, well, I want to let you know this, Will. You're going to hear that you're the head in charge from me as many times as I can tell people that's what you said. I said, and furthermore, you need to check your assistant because this is my space. We weren't in your trailer with our shoes off. We're in my space with our shoes off. But why would he come? Why would he come to you? Ooh, child. Well, I may be able to play some more later, but listen, she said that she was going to post the receipts, that she was telling the truth, that those shell is um, blew up on the set of Almost Christmas. And sure enough, she posted the receipts. Uh, hold on, guys, because it flipped over to the Instagram. Give me one second. I'll share that screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our very big hook is this one in front of us. This old head's right. Um, is that Rachel? No. Uh, yeah, Rachel and Sonia. Okay, so that's Rachel. That's Gabrielle. And um, oh, he probably will be sick. Anybody want to call me, man? So she posted the receipts. People are not playing now. They posting receipts. She had the audio, but she didn't have this audio. Um, when um she recorded a phone call between her and Tyler Perry, where Tyler Perry said he was gonna apologize to her. Listen, guys, we'll get more into this story right after this. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share this screen again. Okay, so Monique's post evidence that trailers blew up on a set of Almost Christmas, okay? 
And I show you that post. Monique made a lot of claims on um, Shannon Shaw's podcast, but one of one she followed up with receipts includes a story about on-set movie trailers that she claims blew up. The comedian actress told this alleged anecdote on Club Shay Shay Wednesday, but the 2016 film Almost Christmas that she filmed alongside Danny Glover, Omar S., J.B. Smooth, Kimberly Elise, and others, a production she insisted was raft with danger, okay? Mad danger. Um, let's hear a little bit more of her speak. With that type of energy, what what led what led him to say that when all you asked his assistant to do was to go get him because she's questioning why That's people in your trailer have the truth? That's a good one because what I said to him was, "Who do we need to talk to?" This young lady can't be up in here like that. And that's when he became the head in charge. Oh. And then I said, who are you the head in charge of? We have Danny Glover on this set. We have a legend and an icon. Are you the head in charge of him? Are you the head in charge of Kimberly Elise? Are you the head in charge of Gabrielle Union? Are you the head in charge of J.B. Smooth? Who are you the head in charge of? So he tried to laugh it and joke it. I said, uh-uh, I don't play that way, brother. I said, the food is bad. Like, what we doing here? The food was slop. So when they say they didn't have any food, mm -hmm. the food we had, nobody ever ate that food because it was just like you can feed them anything. Mm -hmm. Now, here's where it gets even better. Remember how Taraji said the trailers were infested? Yes. Our trailers blew up. They blew up. Now, what I, whenever this airs, I'm going to post the trailers blowing up so the people can see, right. but they blew up. And if any of us were in those trailers, we would have been gone. Right. The trailers blew up. Now, when I was smelling the gas, we went to the brothers that was hooking up the trailers and we said, hey, we smell gas. Mm -hmm. They said, Mo, we let him know, talking about the head in charge, we let him know. He just said, okay, and walked away. <coughs> I said, he what? He just said, okay, and walked away. The trailers blew up. Did Will Packer reach out to anybody? I can't say he didn't reach out to me and say. The interview three hours, you'll watch it. That's all I can say, watch it. Long story short, Monique suggested producer Will Packer, a Hollywood big shot behind tons of comedy slash shows in recent years, was cutting corners and ignoring warning signs during production of Almost Christmas. Even a legend, he turned a blind eye when someone notified him the cast had been smelling gas near some of their trailers and where they got dressed. Obviously, it's a major allegation. And in a moment of her recounting it on the pod, she promised she posts evidence of it afterward, which she then did later in the day. Okay, and I showed you that video already. Monique um, threw up a clip Wednesday that seems to show exactly what she was talking about, naming a movie um, set trailer all burnt up and damaged with firefighters surveying the scene. She didn't um, provide more details, info on whose trailer specifically that was or what exactly led up to the destroyed trailer. But on the face, it appears to back up her story. She writes, hey, my sweet babies, here are our tra trailers from almost... Um, from almost Christmas that I spoke about on Club Shay Shay. Don't take my words, see for yourself. I love us for real. Based on the comments, it sounds like the folks believe her. This is just one of many allegations Monique floated on um, Club Shay Shay, which dredged up old feuds between herself, Oprah, Tyler um, Perry, and others that she's been involved in for years. Unclear, she's going to post more evidence, like an alleged audio of recording of um, Tyler Perry that she says she has. But you got to imagine, she's ready to drop stuff at a moment's notice. We reached out to Will C for a comment. So far, no word back. Well, they're not going to put a word back because I think that no matter who it is and what they do, they try to cut corners and cutting corners can cost people their lives. And unfortunately, <clears throat> I want to say on the set of Russ, Alec Baldwin. They said on that set, corners were being cut to save money. And unfortunately, someone lost their life. And this almost Christmas situation, someone that could have actually been on the trailer at the time, changing their clothes, and they would not be here. If you can't afford to do the movie, don't do it. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. What do you think about Monique's latest um, <laughs> interview over there on Club Shay Shay? Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, 
you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, guys, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.